Schwartzer, and I have a question for everyone. How many of you have heard the word scoliosis or actually have scoliosis? Okay. Well, in a room of 100 people, three people have scoliosis. If it's found to be more common in females and more severe in females than males. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with scoliosis. And it was mild at first, and then as I grew, it got worse. I have two curves. One is a 25 degree curve, which is up here, and then I have a 45 degree curve, which is right there. This is considered a severe case of scoliosis. Now, today I'm going to take you through what scoliosis is, the signs for scoliosis, and your treatment options once you've been diagnosed with scoliosis. The word scoliosis comes from a Greek word meaning crooked, according to teenhealth.org. Most curves, when first diagnosed, are not severe. But as a child grows, they become severe, which means they need treatment. Curves can be shaped like an S or a C. An S curve has two degrees, and a C curve has one. Less severe curves can, can um, or need x-rays. And more severe curves, you need x-rays or you just bend over and you can see it within just over their clothes usually. The most common form of scoliosis according to the article Adolescent Endopathic Scoliosis an Indication for Surgery a Systematic Review of Literature is endopathic scoliosis. Endopathic means unknown cause. You must be over five years old to be put into this category and they find that endopathic scoliosis is hereditary. So if you've been diagnosed with it, someone else in your family has as well. Next, we'll move on to the signs of scoliosis. Half the schools in the United States have funding to check for scoliosis. They do a test called the bend forward test and you can do this test sitting or standing. What you do is you bend down with straight knees and your fingertips must be reaching towards the floor or your feet. What the person checking for scoliosis is looking for is the actual curve in your back or uneven rib cages. An everyday test that you can do yourself is to look at your body and see if you tilt more to the left or the right, um, uneven shoulder blades, or a trunk deformity, which means that there is a little divot in the back of your, or the, below your spine. And after you've looked at that, then you need to consult an actual physician and ask them because you're not a doctor. Early detection is good because that means you can be diagnosed, observed, and then you have more options for treatment. Finally, we'll move on to your treatment options. You have two options, bracing or surgery. Bracing, according to adolescent endopathic scoliosis, indications and efficiency of non-operative treatment says that bracing won't correct a curve. It's meant to keep the curve where it's at. And this form of treatment can only be used if you're still growing. These braces have been updated and they're more light, they're comfortable, and they're easier to wear. The technical name for an endopathic scoliosis brace is cervicothoracical orthosis, or CTLSO. Your other option is surgery, and according to Adolescent endopathic scoliosis, an indication for surgery, a systematic review of literature. It says major curves are necessary for you to be given surgery and you have to be done growing. This surgery, what they do is they fuse the bones in the spine together so that they can no longer curve. Then they take metal rods and screw them into your vertebrae to keep everything in line. And then they let the bones heal around it and those rods stay in your back permanently. Your recovery time for the surgery is a month. You can go back to school. After three to four months, you can return to non-strenuous activities. And after six to 12 months, you can return to most normal activities. But everyone does heal at their own pace. So, in summation, today I've taught you what scoliosis is, the signs of scoliosis, and your treatment options once you've been diagnosed with scoliosis. So the next time you hear that someone's been diagnosed with scoliosis, I hope you have a better understanding of what that means and what they may go through. Thank you.